What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creating TV. So, so I'm back. More videos, tutorials coming Tuesdays and Thursdays. Sorry for the delay on videos. College finals was tough, so I was really trying to focus over there. But hey, finals is over. School is over with. So now we back to more videos, dropping them every Tuesday and Thursday because we got to hit this 3,000 subscribers. 3,000 subscribers by September the 7th. That's when I turn 30. So I'm trying to see if we can do that. Uh, but right now, we're going to do a little short tutorial video. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. A lot of you guys maybe know this already, how to set up uh, Discord using Streamlabs on the Mac. So a little quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do that. But if you're new here and you like this type of video, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's get to it. So first things first, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have your Discord open on your computer. If you're not, sign into it if you haven't already. Sign that open. When you wanna to go to it, you wanna to go to your settings in Discord. When you go to settings, you're gonna scroll down to where it says app settings and you're gonna to go to voice and video. That's how you wanna get so you can you know when you're streaming and everything, you can get your Discord to come into your stream. If you're talking to people in Discord and your chat wanna hear them. So what you wanna do there, once you get to uh, voice and video devices, you want to come down and make that your input device. You want to make that your mic that you have connected to your uh, your laptop or your iMac. Use that as that. So mine, I will use my HyperX Quadcast for my input device. My output. Now, remember when I did a video a while back when I was talking about I show you audio capture? You want to set that to your output or you can use, but just best to set it to there because you already have it set up in previous videos. And if you don't remember that video, I'll link that video up here so you can go check that video out. And it will be at the end of this video. But I'm going to set that one to my I show you audio capture for my output. And after that, you can basically close down Discord. You want to open up Streamlabs OBS on a Mac. There is a new version out. So if you haven't updated already, update to the new version. It's just like better performances and stuff like that. And that's all it is, just for better better performances, you know, help help Streamlabs OBS run smoother on the Mac. Um, I'm still working on right now to get another MacBook or iMac with the M1 chip so I can show you guys steps with Big Sur because I know a lot of you guys are using Big Sur or you guys bought new uh, Macs and you want to know like why is an NDI. If you bought it, if you use it right now, I'm let you know. If you're using Big Sur and you, the NDI source does not work on Big Sur. So you have to upgrade to the HD60S Plus on the Elgato capture card. But right now, because the NDI source is an Intel, like a Windows program, so it's not really going to work. But I'm trying to get another MacBook so I can show you guys how to use Big Sur with Streamlabs and using the HD60S Plus capture card. So stay tuned for that for a future video. But once you open up Streamlabs, OBS, you want to come down to your settings. You want to go to audio. And then right here in this section where it says desktop audio and, or whatever you want, to make sure you have your mic to one of these. So mine, I'm going to do uh, mic slash uh, device two. I'm going to change that to, it was on disabled. I'm going to change that to, you know, I show you audio capture. After that, you want to hit done. You'll see it pop up. I can't really test it because I, I don't really be on Discord like that. And I ain't got no really that many friends. So I couldn't test it. Like say, oh, yeah, this works, this works. So I can't really show you to do that. But from there, you also want to hit this little open advanced settings for the mixer. And then... Where you have your I show you audio capture, whatever is right there, you can set it to monitor only if you just wanted to monitor how it's going or monitor and output. Yes. So what you want to do is when you get there, you want to make sure you don't have it on monitor only, which is going to mute the output. So, you know, it won't be so loud coming through wherever you got it set up through or you can do monitor and output only or just if you want to leave it on monitor and out off. But. Technically, I will put it on monitor and output just so you can get you can test the audio, see where how loud it is, or if you need to change some things. Once you're done with that, everything's all good to go. And you know, that's how you set up your Discord using Streamlabs OBS on the Mac. It's real simple and easy. But more videos is on the way. Stay tuned for that. Uh, 3,000 subscribers. We're on our way. We just passed 1,700 subscribers. So. Thank you guys for that. Uh, the grind doesn't stop. More videos will be posted every Tuesday and Thursdays. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV. There it was. Discord set up for Streamlabs OBS. And I'm signing out of here. Peace. God bless everybody. Peace.